up you guys, Bloody Jacob here to bring you another movie review, and this time we're going to be talking about Greenland, starring Gerard Butler. Hey, what's up you guys, Bloody Jacob here, meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel. Hey, I'm Sylvia Saska. And I'm Jen Saska. And we're the Saska Sisters. And yeah, I know I've been a bit inconsistent with my uh, videos as of late. Um, I have actually been pretty active on my Instagram account, which you can find a link to below along with my other social media, uh, whatever's. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been actually kind of active on Instagram. I've been kind of posting my sum ups of my thoughts of my movies, like pretty much right after I watch them within a day or so. Um, I, I love doing videos. I love being able to verbalize it, which is why I always come back here. Um, but with Instagram, yeah, it's just easier, you know, and uh, with videos, it's it's just not, like, as easy just to do like that, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a process, so my lazy ass, you know, it's just been using Instagram, you know, to, uh, you know, get my thoughts out and my feelings and everything, but, uh, you know, not have to uh, go through the processing and the uploading and, you know, editing and what little editing I do and stuff like that. Um, but nonetheless, I, I still am going to be doing videos. It's just not, you know, as fast of a rate as of late. And, uh, you know, I, I probably post about more than I do make videos, you know, because there are some videos, because there are some movies I don't get a chance to do videos on, but I might still post about it on Instagram. So what I'm saying is, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we're talking about Greenland today, which I should have talked about a very long time ago. I have the Blu-ray combo pack right here. Um, you guys didn't know I'm a massive Gerard Butler fan. He's one of my favorite actors working today. Uh, I think he's uh, he's definitely my favorite modern day action star. If you want to put him in a box like that, but I've also thoroughly enjoyed his dramas and his thrillers and everything. Um, he's damn charismatic as an action star, but I also think he doesn't get enough credit for uh, what believable and strong actor he really is, performance wise either. Um, I think he's honestly a bit overlooked and underrated on that end. Um, and I was looking forward to Greenland, you know, I expected to uh, like it when it came out on disc. I, uh, it, well, it was definitely a GIF because it, it was released in theaters in other countries, um, but didn't get a theatrical release over here because of, uh, you know, the fucking pandemic. Um, it would have been a great movie to see on the big screen, not just because of the effects, but just in general. Um, well, it came out on disc, I, you know, I was very... I was very uh, eager to get it on Blu-ray, and it was it was hard because the distribution was screwed up around my area or something like that uh, for you know certain stores getting new releases and everything like that. But finally, I did get a hold of the Blu-ray quite a while ago, um, and yeah, I don't know why it took so damn long to watch this. Um, it's uh, you know it's the, the the setup isn't very complicated. Uh, you know, basically there's this, uh, meteor shower, um, but then I found out it's going to be, like, a possible extinction level event, so that ends up being, of course, a lot of, you know, chaos and everything like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, you may think, oh, is it another geostorm or something like that? No, no, it is not. Um, you know, geostorm is okay, uh, but this is a totally different kind of thing, honestly. Um, I knew I was going to like it, but I did not expect to absolutely love Greenland. It is one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. For me, anyway, it is the best disaster movie I've ever seen. Um, but it's not just focused on that either, you know, it's not just focused on like, a, it doesn't go for like a disaster porn kind of thing. It's very much uh, human-centric. It focuses on uh, human behavior, uh, the good and bad people would do in these scenarios when they would come up. Um, which we've seen, you know, much, you know, smaller versions of for different reasons, you know, over the past, uh, you know, year or two, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it focuses on the hysteria of it, you know, uh, 
what people can be pushed to do. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I should read. I should just read you my Instagram post. I mean, that's a good idea. I, I articulated my thoughts somewhat well on there. <laughs> um, and this isn't cheating, but it's just going to help me uh, not quite ramble so much. Um, let's see, it's going to be one second. All right. So I, I got to tell you um, Greenland, what a fantastic movie. I'm ashamed it took me so long to finally watch this. Uh, one of my favorite actors, Gerard Butler, as I already talked about. Avoiding simply being a disaster porn film, Greenland instead cho chooses to focus on people, the people going through it, instead of focusing on some misplaced spectacle, which it does have, you know, it really does have, don't get me wrong, the visuals in this um, are really nice, has really nice aesthetic to it. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that end of it. Of course, when there's explosions or, you know, shit gets blown up, yeah, okay, it's entertaining and, uh, <laughs> You know, in a cynical way, right? Um, or just so that looks cool, but it, it's it's much more than that. Um, it goes for a very intimate and human story, uh, centered on well fleshed out, nuanced characters that I got incredibly invested in. And that's that's another thing. I mean, these aren't just you know base level characters that are. Okay, we, they're basically, you know, the plot, you know, we just get to see them run from point A to point B, and that's all they, that, that's all there is to them. No, they, they lay out a backstory for these characters, um, uh, they, they lay out why, you know, they might have some issues, you know, that kind of thing, but it doesn't feel completely typical, it feels very real. Um, and what I also loved about this movie, uh, it's just how, again, the realism of it all. Uh, you know, because it's it's even uh, it's like little things that you know give you a lot of anxiety. Um, maybe I shouldn't say little things, but it's like the you know simpler things that you uh, you wouldn't think of. You know that a big Hollywood movie would necessarily show, or that they that wouldn't be the driving force of it, but it kind of is. You know, while still giving that big spectacle, um, because. At one point, of course, you know, as you can probably assume, you know, uh, Gerard Butler's character gets separated from his family. Um, so that alone, he, he has to go back to get his son's uh, insulin shot, you know, when they're about to take off on the, on the plane. Um, and that's another thing, by the way. The movie starts off, or at least uh, the, co the real conflict starts off, when there's a pres presidential automatic message sent out, you know, that certain people have been selected to uh, be flown to this uh, undisclosed location uh, military base. Um, but why these people, you know, and of course that's going to cause a lot of conflict naturally, if, you know, once people start finding out about that. Um, so they're having like a get together, you know, like a barbecue sort of thing, and then uh, everyone's looking at them. Um, and then there's a, you know, pretty heart wrenching scene on the street when, uh, you know, one of them tries to beg them to, uh, you know, you know, take their kid with them and stuff like that. But you know, they could be turned away if they're caught with, uh, you know, someone else in their party. Um, so it's little things like that. It's them being separated. What yeah, is the, you know, sheer, you know, breakdown that could induce, honestly, for most people. Um, it's just, I thought it was very accurate with uh, the government response to it. I thought it was very accurate with, uh, you know, people could potentially turn on each other, um, but I know this, I don't, I don't read off my phone the whole time, but, <laughs> um, Greenland did really well with, uh, balancing that realism with still managing to tell a good and very moving story. There are, there are dark things that happen in this movie, you know, um, both things that Gerard Butler has to do, things that you see happen to other people, what, uh, or, you know, the Karen, you know, that, who plays his wife goes through, and, uh, you know, the kid. Um, but it, it doesn't lose sight of still telling a satisfying, you know, moving story. I'm not saying, you know, how it ends. I'm not saying if they all make it or anything. Um, but it, it treads the line successfully. <laughs> um, by the way, the kid, played by Roger Dale Floyd, uh, who was actually kind enough to notice my Instagram post, um, he commented as well. Uh, very cool. He seems like a really nice kid. Um, he did a nice job as well. He's one of those, one of those somewhat rare, you know, good child performances. You know, he wasn't necessarily frustrating. He, uh, I think, he served his purpose well. Um, man, I, I, I'm not doing this movie justice. I can feel it. <laughs> 
Um, it, it, it's a lot more than it is. It, it, it also does a good job of showing good and bad people on both sides. Okay, there's gonna be this person that treats them like shit, but then, oh wait, this person actually seems to, uh, you know, have a conscience. Um, or wait, are, um, are the military gonna be dickheads? Wait, no, a soldier actually, you know, makes, maybe makes an exception at one point in another scenario. Maybe not. <laughs> and then there's this, uh, this nurse that really comes through at one point as well, when something's going on. Um, so it shows good and bad on both sides. It shows, you know, some people who choose to get a bit more selfish on the road. Uh, it, it covered pretty much every aspect of things that could happen, you know, good or bad. Um, I also have to mention, uh, like I said, I really got invested in these characters. Gerard Butler turns in a great performance. I think maybe one of his career best. Um, Marina Karen was good. Um, I also have to mention, uh, for some reason, it's picture's not coming up right now. Uh, Scott Glenn, if you don't know who Scott Glenn is, you should. Um, he's an actor that's been around for a while. He, uh, I'm not going to say what kind of role he has in the movie, but he plays uh, the wife's uh, father. Um, I really liked him. He's, a, he's an overlooked actor. Um, but yeah, I got, I got invested in the journey of it, and uh, you know, it was what, you know, basically, you know, two hours long. Um, it kept me glued in a way a movie has, and in a way a movie hasn't in a long, long time. Um, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. The ending is really good. Um, it's not an undercut or anything. It's kind of like a. I'm not saying it involves aliens or something, but I just thought like War of the War of the Worlds or something like that it doesn't do anything like that. Um, it's there's no like uh, I don't know magical you know solution necessarily. Um, it doesn't all of a sudden just, oh yeah, it wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, and uh, like my Instagram post is going to say, actually, I actually teared up, you know, cried a little like two or three different times. I, I'm in touch with my sensitivities, I, I'm in touch with my feelings, and uh, I, I was moved on a number of occasions. Uh, I can't say enough about Greenland. It's one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. I could, I could even, I've watched a lot of movies, guys, and this sounds like a big number. Um, but when you know how many movies I've seen, uh, it's actually kind of condensing it. I could see myself putting Greenland on like a top 30, top 40 movies of all time that I've seen. And yes, I'm serious. Um, you know, I, I've, been, I've loved a lot of Gerard Butler movies as I've talked about. Um, till now, I'd say like uh, one of the Has Fallen movies is probably my favorite of his, along with like 300, uh, Law Abiding Citizens, and some other ones. Uh, but at this point, overall, I think Greenland is definitely my favorite Gerard Butler movie at this point. Uh, so please, if you haven't checked out Greenland, don't overlook it like I did. <laughs> or, I mean, I didn't overlook it, but I mean, get to watching it. Don't overlook it either. Um, I think you'd be really, really surprised. Uh, like I said, best disaster movie I've ever seen, and one of my favorite movies in a long, long while. So yeah, if I had to rate it, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, please check it out, guys. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, subscribe, and uh, peace.